Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who had an 80 pound tire fall on his toe, causing an ingrown nail. Fortunately, he wore steel toe shoes, saving him from a devastating toe fracture. Let's see what happened. Sam here, how you doing Sam? Good. Okay. <laughs> So t tell us what happened to this toe. I smashed it. Uh huh. And, uh, got what, an angle. what happened? With, with what? What'd you smash with? A uh, tire. Oh, the, oh, so you you dropped a big tire? Yeah. Oh wow. Was that a big one? Yeah. How big was the tire? Is that a normal tire or is that? No, they're like eighty pounds. Oh, eighty pound one. Oh wow. But you still had a steel toe though, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Thank God you had steel toe, huh? Yeah. Thank God. So if you didn't. Broken toe. Yeah, you, you, you would have definitely broken this toe, but I'm glad. You gotta thank that steel toe. Yeah, yeah. I think people should be wearing the steel toe more often. Yeah. They should have a, a dancing shoes with steel toe also. What do you guys think? Yeah? That way they get stepped on all the time. I mean, more business for me, but it's not good for the patient, right? No. So have a dancing shoes with a, with a steel. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, because people get stepped on all the time, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's that's what I'm talking about. You okay, Sam? Yeah. You feel anything? No. Okay. So this was really deep in there. You're gonna see it how deep this is. So this is the first time it happened, right? Yeah. You never had any ingrown nail like this. No. I haven't seen Sam in a long time, right? About yeah. five years? Yeah, five years. He was, a, he was a young guy. He's still young, but that's a... That's one, Sam. Check it out. Just in that corner. Pretty big, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was all underneath that. He was... A, last time I saw you, you were a teenager, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't recognize him. He became like a big... Good looking big guy now. What are you gonna do now, huh? <laughs> it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word still toe shoes in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, so I'll make sure that everything's all cleaned out so it drains nicely. So I make sure that everything's out of that area. Okay. All right, looking good. You're gonna start soaking it, right, Sam? Yeah. Okay, soaking Epsom salt. I'll give you instruction, okay? Right. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up real nicely. Make sure. And then you're gonna go back to work, but you're gonna kind of take it easy, right? Yeah. You yeah. have to keep your foot up today. Don't walk on it too much. Okay? Right. Okay. You didn't feel anything, right? No. Okay. No pain at all. I know. So I know. He says he's, he's a he's a he's a big guy, but he's scared of the needles, right? <laughs> yeah. The bigger you are, harder you fall. They say. Yeah. yeah. But I'm glad you did. Well, I'll see you next week to see how you're doing. Okay. Right. I'm gonna wrap it up real good. And then starting tomorrow will be just uh, start soaking it and then just a bandaid. Okay. 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 Like this one. Okay, Sam, thanks for allowing us to film you today. Yeah, thanks for taking care of it. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. As you can see on this video, dropping a heavy object could break your toe and cause many side effects afterward. Wearing steel toe shoes would be a lifesaver in this case, and I highly recommend when needed. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.